Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm making a completely different video. It's, uh, I haven't made any videos like these. I will be reacting to, I'm just kidding, I'm not reacting to anything. So basically what I'm doing is I'm giving you guys a little bit of behind the scenes as in what it's like to be a student here at Mathlead Faisal. As you guys know, my online crash courses are starting from the second week of January where I will be teaching. There's a new crash course for A-level math P3 and there's a new crash course for O-level slash IDCSC math. There are no new courses for ad maths i know a lot of you have been reaching out to me asking me why is that well the reason is very simple that's because all the important topics of ad maths i will be starting from january onwards you know all the important topics such as functions trigonometry differentiation integration so you can join the batch which started in august from january onwards and if you want to have a look at all the classes that you've missed you can have a look at that everything all everything that i've just mentioned you can have a look at all of that on the website and if you want to buy the material or let's say you want to buy the recording of the classes that you've missed you can do that as well and the same can be done for a level math p1 now alongside that there are also new batches starting for m1 and s1 from january onwards this is going to be like a two month course in two months we'll be done with the syllabus and then after that we'll be solving past papers as well and there will be past paper sessions as well starting from march inshallah okay so all these details you will find on the website and uh, to keep track of what's going on make sure that you're subscribed to the youtube channel and make sure that you're also following the page on instagram because that's where i put most of the updates okay so now the purpose behind this video is like i said to give you guys a little bit of an insight as to what it's like to be a student you know how classes are conducted what do you get with the package because a very important question a very common question that i get is well given that i have so many videos on youtube what's the point of enrolling in these live sessions anyway that's a legitimate question and i think the immediate answer to this is that if you find all the material on youtube enough if you think that's enough for you and with the help of that you've been getting good grades you know you've been able to achieve your objective your desired grade a lot of students have done it in the past then that's great you don't have to enroll in these classes but if you are not one of those uh, self-disciplined or self-motivated people and you want that push, you want someone to keep an eye on you, you want to have some live interaction with me or with my team and you want to be part of a group or a community then you're very welcome to join okay and i do emphasize on all the students who join to make sure that they attend the live classes because live classes are interactive one other common question that i get are these classes interactive can we ask questions of course these classes are interactive they're not one-way communication yes sometimes when i'm unable to take a class or something i make a recording of that class and put it up for the students just to make sure that you know there's no loss and everything is on track but 95 percent of the classes are live you can ask questions you can interact you can stop me if there's something you don't understand we can have a discussion you know there are discussions that we do outside of academics as well somebody needs help in deciding the subjects that they should choose in a levels or the university that they should go to or you know somebody's just generally having trouble deciding what to study or just general academic issues you know everything that falls inside of that i'm here to help you guys with that okay so now having said that let me give you like a deep dive into what it's like so as soon as you enroll which you can do by the way on the website okay all the details you'll find on the website matthewpaisar.com okay now as soon as you enroll this is what you see you will see immediately the courses that you're enrolled into and you can see that there's a counter this will tell you how much what's the what's the percentage of uh, the course that you have completed so basically what we do is we divide these courses month wise so if let's say you join from september so you although you can purchase the material of the previous month which includes recordings notes everything but if let's say you join from september then you will only see the september course okay and just like that after after september you'll have the october course and after which you'll have to renew and then you will have uh, november december january stuff like that okay so if you join in january then you'll have the january course and as soon as january ends there'll be the february course so it makes it easy for students to keep track uh, when we divide it into months it makes it easy for students to keep track of what you know what what uh, progress that they have made you know what are all the classes month wise that they have completed and you know what's left so this is what it looks like and then just to give you a bit of an insight like i mentioned that since all classes are conducted live so as soon as you go into a course so this is an example course that i'm using this is saleable math p1 now all classes are conducted live like i said but before before uh, i get into that here's a little introduction so this is where you have all the resources you know, by that I mean the uh, books that I will be using, the notes, past papers, topical past papers, ton of worksheets. So if there's a test that I've taken, 
there will be a test like for example you can see here there's test one which uh, students have given it's it's up here for practice then there's test two for practice and then there are the marking schemes as well now there are tutorials also because this lms is not something that everyone is familiar with so you know how to join classes how you're supposed to submit your homework and worksheets and all that there are a ton of worksheets by the way which we're going to talk about so here's a little there, there are tutorials for that as well for students to watch now Here's a little introduce yourself, which, uh, you know, talks about the expectations that you have from the course and, you know, what's your objective and everything. It's uh, it's it's basically like a like a, it, it's it is what it says, you know, it's like a small introduction. And then let's talk about the notes and the practice material that I share with students. So here, for example, if you go into notes, you will see all the notes that we have. OK, so all the notes are in PDF form. You can print them, you can download them, do whatever you like. Uh, they're, they're yours to keep basically and then if we look into these classes so although all classes are conducted live and I, I i encourage everyone to take to attend a class live because you know if you have a doubt if you're watching a recording which by the way is shared immediately after a class is conducted it's all automatic as soon as i take a class the recording is up there i don't have to upload anything so you do have access to it and you will continue to have access to all these recordings till the end of the year. But the purpose behind these recordings is not so that you can miss classes and, you know, be laid back about it. And, you know, I'll get the recording anyway. What's the point of taking the class live? The purpose is so that if, let's say, when the exams are closed and, you know, there's a lot of pressure and you want to revise something, you don't have to go through the notes, which although there's no nothing wrong in that, if you if you can revise it through your notes, that's brilliant. But if you want to have like a recap of the entire thing, then that's what the recordings are for. So that's that's the main purpose of recordings. It's not so that you can you cannot attend live classes. But having said that, it's inevitable that at some point you won't be able to attend the live class. Why? Because there may be a clash. As you know, towards the end of uh, the session, everybody, when exams are closed, every teacher likes to keep extra classes. And uh, we also have a lot of extra classes, a lot of question and answer sessions. So it's inevitable at some point you will have a clash, clash. And because I have students from all around the world, because of different time zones, some students are heavily relying on the recording. So that's why I give the recordings right away. Now, after a class, as you can see, this is the differentiation class that I conducted. Now, since this is over, what you can do is you can watch the replay, you can watch the recording, you can watch it at 2x. I don't think you can, uh, there's anything faster than 2x, but yeah, you can do that. And uh, yeah, you'll be up to speed in case you missed. And here's the, here's the, Here's the part I think that helps the students the most is that whatever concepts that we cover in class one of differentiation, you will find a worksheet. Let me show you what that looks like. So you will find a worksheet which basically are past paper questions covering that specific concept only. Okay, so as you can see, these are past paper questions that my team has extracted. They do a brilliant job with every worksheet. So you can see that I've only taken out specific parts and I like to mainly focus on past paper works on giving questions from past papers because i think that's where the real learning takes place you can do all the questions from every single book but if you're not doing past papers then you wouldn't know what you're gonna exp what to get in the exam okay so you can see this worksheet covers only the very specific concept of finding dy by dx you know this is a level math if you're familiar if you're not then you know you can just get the get the idea so um then you, you submit the worksheet here also, by the way, just to give you guys. So as soon as you're done, what you do is you upload the work, upload your work below and uh, you scan it, convert it into a PDF. There is a tutorial for that also, how to access and submit here. You can see worksheet slash homework. So every, everything is kind of organized and this is something that I've done. I mean, to be honest, is something that I've been doing from this year onwards. Why? Because I felt the need that I had to organize myself in order to make life for my students easier. So this is what we have done. You know, th 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 there are still a lot of uh, improvements to be made, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's a step in the right direction. Then, like I said, uh, there is another worksheet. So this pattern you will see that's common in every subject. So this is worksheet two. There are a ton of worksheets this year. I, my team and I have you know, just gotten together and we've extracted over a hundred worksheets. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you can see that this is once again covering a specific topic and this is how you'll find it with math, with ad maths, with uh, P3, with uh, every, every subject there is, you will find. Maybe one day I'll give you guys an intro of how this whole process is done, how we extract worksheets and stuff like that. But that's, that's something that 
may not excite everyone. So yeah, that's that's how it works. And after this, just to give you guys an idea, so this is uh, this is basically Oliver Matt. This is the regular batch which started in August. Now you can see that uh, towards so basically every month since we do a lot of worksheets and it difficult it gets difficult for students to keep track of all the worksheets that they have done so far and especially if someone joins late in the year uh, let's say that they've joined from november you know the course started in august and they've joined in november now they just want to have access to they don't want to buy the entire material they don't want to buy class recordings but they just want to have access to all the worksheets that we have done because worksheets are a form of practice and you know they're not readily available when you're solving top topical past papers if you're solving a question that question covers every single concept there is related to that topic but you know it gets difficult for students to decide which questions are the ones they can attempt and which ones they can't so for that what i do is what my team does is in fact that we basically give them all the worksheets that we have done up until now and here you can see that every topic to say the least has at least three four worksheets okay some are small topics we don't have a lot of worksheets for that but other than that every other topic has at least three four worksheets so, and this we do for every single subject, you know, so this is for math, the same is true for ad math, same is true for A-level math, P1, P3, like I said, my team and I have this year alone extracted over 100 worksheets and you know, it's, it's, it's an ongoing process. This year we had to sit down and do it all together because there was a change in syllabus in IGCSC math and in ad maths and there was a major change, especially uh, the change in paper patterns. So we had to sort of uh, redo all the material that we had from last year. So yeah, it's like I said, it's it's an ongoing process. And the way that this helps student is that when things are organized, it's easy to keep track of your progress. You know, uh, you can immediately test yourself by solving a worksheet. If you can solve a worksheet, that's great. If you cannot, then that means, you know, there's there's some, some work to be done. Maybe you can watch the recording all over again. And then we have towards the end and not towards the end, but on and off also, we have a question and answer session. So what I do is I share a form. Let me see if I can find that form. Okay. so. As I was saying, this is the form that I was talking about. So this is something that I do more frequently towards the end. Initially, students don't really have a lot of questions and whatever questions they have, you know, we answer them on the go. But towards the end, this is what I like to do. So students basically fill up this question and answer form and this question form basically. So they write the name, the, the whatever past paper it is that they want, they have trouble in, and then they share the, okay my own video started playing and then they share the they, they basically you know all the details of the past paper and whatever question number it is that they want to have uh, they want to ask and you know if let's say uh they have a screenshot of it then they can simply upload the screenshot and this way what i do is so this saves me a lot of time this saves a lot of students a lot of time because we can answer a lot of queries in one session instead of you know me there and then opening the question and answering it so what my team does is they just you know, take all this information, attach, uh, take out all the questions, share them with me beforehand, before the class starts. So this helps me in basically answering all the questions in a less amount of time. So these, these are, these are all the small changes that we have done and you know, it's really helping us. It's really benefiting the students. That's what the whole idea behind every change is. And uh, this is if, if let's say you decide to enroll and this is what your experience is going to be like. So yeah, let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to share about, you know, what's happening behind the scenes and I'll be more than happy to do so. And then there's some other exciting thing that we're working on, which I don't think I'm yet allowed to disclose. Uh, although I have, um, I think, shared it with some students. Please, if you're one of those, please no spoilers. But this is something that's gonna be out very soon, inshallah, probably a month from the day that I'm recording this video. So stay tuned for that. I'll post that, inshallah, very soon on my Instagram and on every other social media handle. So stay tuned, like I said, and that's it for this video. Share it with whoever you think can possibly benefit from it. Remember, classes are starting from the 6th and the 7th of January. The new courses are of A-level math, P3, M1, S1, and O-level slash IGCSC math. So that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Allah Hafiz.